Well, there you have it, folks. She's uh, the old girl's done. I uh, know a lot even wondering uh, whatever happened to this tractor. Well, it, uh, had a few bumps in the roads with bumps in the road with it, so. I'm just gonna go over uh, everything that I uh, did to this old girl. I'll start up here on the platform. Uh, we've done a new steering wheel, new steering cap. Gauges are all original, but only because I couldn't find the original ones. Um, they cleaned up not too bad. The dash lights, I ended up making something to work because they're no longer available from case. These are actually license plate lights off of uh, good old Amazon. Um, all the little dummy lights here, I managed to save those. Uh, new wiring harness from Steiner's came with all the sockets that those bulbs fit in, so that worked out all right. They were so rusty. Uh, new knobs for the selective control valves. Uh, like I said, new wiring, new deck plating non-slip jack plating. It was getting pretty thin and the welds were starting to break. Custom made three step. Uh, new batteries, new hinges on the battery boxes there. John Deere batteries. Good or not, I don't know. <laughs> uh, battery boxes are all new. I had a buddy of mine make those up for me. Um, new axle seal, new LED lights, uh, new rubber all around, but the tires on the front were actually on it when we got it, so that saved us a few hundred dollars. 18,434 petless tires. All these blocks around here, painted silver. I thought I thought it looked pretty sharp that way. Originally they were uh, galvanized, but over time they rust and look like heck so fix those up uh, new selective control plugs both sides new high new hydraulic hoses tank had a nasty dent in it which is pretty common with this tractor kind of a poor design uh, so had a guy cut that all out of there and put a new piece in and he did a really really nice job if you didn't know that was welded there you wouldn't know the difference so uh, uh let's see what else new seat that was from a and i led lights from a and i uh changed the pto it was a thousand when we got it changed it back to 540. an electric fuel pump you can see it under there good old amazon these things are hard to get primed. They're all gravity-fed tanks, which in theory should work, but they just don't seem to have enough flow, especially if something starts getting plugged on it. So we're going to try that and see how it goes. All new paint and decals. Uh, the one, didn't clean that up very good. One fuel filter had a hole in it. There was rust in the bottom and I cleaned the rest out of it and of course it opened up a hole. Uh, new battery cables, injector pump and injectors were all rebuilt a year or so ago. Had to take the pan, oil pan off which was kind of disappointing. Um, by changing the oil of it, out of it, I noticed that the oil wasn't coming straight out of the drain plug like it should and uh, so once it quit draining I stick my finger up in there and here there was a bolt laying in the bottom of the oil pan and I really didn't want to take it off but 
these pans are fairly easy to take off just about a hundred bolts in them because they're part of the actual frame I took it out put the bolt back in the uh, it was a crank bearing block and I don't know why it come out there's no rhyme or reason the other one was tight and torqued the spec so I put threaded it back in and torqued it to spec but first I took the bolts out checked to make sure there wasn't a bearing spun but no everything was good that way so that could have saved that could have been that disaster over time probably would have ended up breaking the crankshaft or doing some other kind of damage I'm all new fan belts, uh, new power steering line there, uh, new bushings and pins in the pivot front axle, uh, new steering arm on the front. Uh, it was uh, bent and uh, welded and cobbled and you know the story with antique tractors. Uh, had to find this at a wreckers. Kind of getting hard to find and they're not cheap for the original this is a cast one not the plastic ones that they have now uh, new muffler uh, new block heater recirculating these are really nice if you don't have one of these and you can get it to work on your tractor they save so much time you plug it in for half an hour and you're good to go so let's see what else did i do Change the uh, from generator to alternator. Um, the manifold preheater still works. Put all new cables on there. The uh, steering shaft, I guess you call it. Took the whole thing out right from the steering wheel to the steering box and rebuilt it all. Brand new universals with grease fittings that I know are going to get greased. And uh, these little balls here are actually category one three-point hitch balls so those are easy enough to find unfortunately this tractor is missing some plates there's one here there should be one under the dash there and goes up to the steering column but uh, you know we can find that over time uh, this is a custom-made PTO lever the lever the original lever was about that high off the floor so you got to stand on your head in order to grab it to start it so I made that one just so it's a little easier to engage and disengage uh, all new fluids uh, there's no fluid in these back tires which, and there wasn't when we got it which was good because that just ruins everything as far as I'm concerned um, <laughs> Mainly the rims. The rims are actually in pretty good shape. Other than they got a little damaged when they put the tire on. I painted them with the old tires on. And uh, yeah. A little bit of touch up here and there. It's been sitting and collecting dust. So it needs a nice bath. Oh, we had to find, we had to scour the wreckers to look for these grill screens that weren't bent all the heck managed to find a decent pair although when I painted it I thought you know both sides were the same but if you look at it they're not and I painted two that were the same side so that was kind of disappointing but no big deal found a I'm actually not sure I got them through a company here in Ontario but they actually came from the US these decals it came with all the decals for both uh, gas and diesel. Uh, this tractor, I think, has over a little over 10,000 hours on it. It says 600 or 482 hours. So this would be the most wore out tractor with four. 40 482 hours on it I've ever seen. <laughs> she was rough when she came, but she's leaving here a brand new, brand new tractor. The 
The sad part is I don't know anything about these old cases. Like they weren't a real common tractor around here. Around here it was mostly whites and internationals and Fords and John Deere's, but these old cases, if they're around, I don't know where they are. This one's actually heading up north quite a ways. Live its life in a heated garage, running the generator from time to time. That's pretty much all she's going to do. She'll be spit polished and waxed all the time. So I want to thank you for watching and Happy New Year to everybody on my channel and thanks for watching and thanks for sticking by me. I see my subscribers are up a little bit. I haven't kind of strange considering I haven't made any videos but uh, there'll be some more coming out. I got a few more projects on the go here. I have a Ford Dexta that I'm going to be working at coming up and a few little jobs with the Old Oliver's here I gotta work on so until then thanks for watching and have a good day